movie story recaps here. Today I'll show you a mystery drama movie called Before I Fall. The movie starts with a girl waking up. Her name is Samantha. Today is 12 February which means Valentine's Day is near. She gets ready to go to the college and her parents ask her for breakfast but without answering them, she leaves. Her friend is waiting for her outside her house and she goes to college where she meets her three friends. All of them are very famous at the college and they are full of ego. It means that they are very arrogant. Samantha reveals that Rob has invited her. Rob is the person Samantha likes very much and she is going to spend the night with him today. Later that same day, three girls come to her class carrying baskets of flowers. It contained flowers for every single person sitting in the class. Samantha gets two flowers, one from Rob and one from his classmate named Kent. He loves Samantha to the bottom of his heart and also invites her to his house after the class, but she refuses as she is not interested in him. Samantha and his friends go to the canteen where they meet a girl named Juliet. Her style and behavior is very different from the rest of the people. When she passes them, they also abuse her. Rob comes to Samantha and starts to flirt with her. He tells her that he will be back in an hour because he has to go somewhere. Samantha goes back to her friends and sees Juliet there too. They call her psycho. Linda approaches Juliet and taunts her by telling her to drink slowly as it's not for kids. Juliet stares at her and tells her that she is a bitch. Everyone there and Samantha's friends start to call her psycho and throw beer on her as well. Juliet leaves the party after the experience and is about to leave the party when she sees Rob. He told Samantha that he would be back in an hour, but he was at the party, flirting with other girls. She leaves the party with her friends and they get into an accident on the highway. She wakes up in her bed afterwards and thinks that she had a very weird dream. As he passes, Samantha thinks that the same things are happening with her again. She learns the same topic from her teacher again and receives two flowers, one from Rob and the other from his classmate, Kent. Along with that, the same things repeat with Juliet and Samantha cannot believe what's happening to her. She thinks that she is in a loop and tells her friend that a truck is going to come from front and it does. Samantha looks at her phone and checks the time which is the same time when their car got into the accident before. They get into another accident the same very moment and Samantha wakes up in her bed. She knows that she is in a loop as she is going to live the same day once again. She doesn't go to the college with her friends today, but she goes with her mother. She goes to college, but the same flowers come to her, and she goes to the canteen, where she tells her friends that she will not spend the night with Rob as she knows that he is flirty. Her friends gasp at Samantha as she had waited for this night. At the same moment Juliet comes there once again, and her friends start to abuse her once again, as per the loop, but this time Samantha asks why they hate her so much. She gets to know that Juliet draws different weird and creepy paintings and her dress is weird. Samantha convinces her friends that they will not go to the party, and all of them stay at her friend's house. At the same time they have their accident and they die. As she reaches the time, she cries as she thinks that they all are going to die once again but they don't. She tells her friends that she loves them and she doesn't want to lose them ever. They fall asleep and are woken up by a message. They get the message that Juliet has committed a suicide which shocks Samantha completely. It is revealed afterwards that Samantha's best friend was Juliet when they were in the fifth grade. Her friends ask her why she didn't tell them that Juliet was her best friend when she was in fifth grade. Samantha doesn't reply and sleeps. She wakes up again in her bed at her home, and the date is not changed. She gets frustrated and wears a very bold dress, but when she's leaving her house, her mother stops her. She scolds her younger sister and leaves the house without listening to her parents. Sitting in the car, she argues with her friend Linda upon which they leave her on the road. In the classroom she talks weird to the girls who came to give the flowers, and when the teacher told him that it was a bad idea, she starts to flirt with him too. After leaving the class she goes to see Juliet who is painting something alone in a room. She gets upset after seeing her lonely life. Seeing her lonely life he realizes that her friends and herself were wrong after all these years and they shouldn't have abused her the way they did. She afterwards went to the party where she was supposed to go before and her three friends were also there. One of her friends approaches Samantha and apologizes to her. She doesn't accept her apology but goes to Linda and tells her to drive with more care and she refers to the accident where people got hurt. Linda is not understanding a word she was saying as she had no idea what Samantha was actually talking about. She is talking about the same accident in which they all die. Juliet also comes there and Samantha leaves the place going to Rob. She kisses him and they go out when she hears the voices of everyone shouting at Juliet. It's the same moment when everyone is throwing wine and beer at Juliet. After meeting Rob, she meets Kent in his room. This party was also arranged in Kent's house. She apologizes to Kent for using his room and he easily forgives her as he has loved her since his childhood. She asks Kent why he arranged such a big party and to her surprise, he answers that he knew Samantha would come to the party. Both of them sitting together try to remember their old days when they were friends and they used to play together as kids. They also remember the day when Samantha fell from a tree and she hurt her foot. Samantha is about to leave when Kent asks her to drop her home, but she doesn't want to go to her own home. Kent tells her that she can sleep in his room as he will manage somewhere else. 
Samantha afterward sleeps on his bed, and now she is very emotional because she remembers her old memories, and she somewhere has started to give Kent the importance she used to give him when they were children. She sleeps afterwards, but when she wakes up, she is in her own home. Her brain and her behavior has totally changed today. She talks to her younger sister and plays with her too. She also has dinner with her family too. Samantha's behavior has also changed towards her family. She asks her mother what she was like when she was a young girl, to which she tells her that she used to ride every horse so they wouldn't feel bad. Samantha remembers those moments saying that was her childhood, and her mother advises her to focus on only one good thing, which will lead her life to a very good path. This thing affects Samantha very deeply, and she goes straight to Kent afterwards. He is holding a party in his house, but he is not a part of it, and he is in his room. Kent remembers the day when he was sitting in the cafeteria and a bully came to him. He threw his food, and Kent gave no reaction to that, to which Samantha stood up and put all of that food in the bully's nose. Kent mentions that it was the first day he laughed after his father's death. He also reminds Samantha that he promised her on the day. He promised that he will become her hero too one day. They both kiss afterwards but stop because they hear Linda's scream. It's the same moment when Juliet started to fight with Linda. Samantha goes down and sees that Juliet is leaving the house on which she goes after her, and finally manages to stop her at a point after endless efforts. She apologizes to her for what they did to her the whole of this time. She tells her the truth that Linda was her very good friend and they used to sleep together when they were children. Her parents' relationship was not very good because of which she started peeing on her bed, and on the camping night when both of them were sleeping together, Linda pissed on her bed once again and put all the blame on Juliet. Samantha and her friends used to tease her because of that reason as well. Juliet gets upset after that and starts to run once again. She goes on the road and hits something. It's Linda's car and this accident occurs the same way it occurred before. Now we know that Juliet was hit by Linda's car and they all died in that accident because of Juliet as well. Samantha wakes up in her room once again. She wakes up once again, but her mood is very different today. She is neither angry nor confused and she is not even sad anymore. She meets her parents with a great mood and also hugs her mother as well. She hugs her younger sister too and looks at everything in a way that we haven't looked before. She looks at them as if she is seeing them for the first time. She meets her friends afterwards and tells them why she loves them so much. Afterwards she buys a flower and surprisingly it is for Kent. Those same three girls come into her classroom and this time Kent also receives a flower. The note in the flower says that you are my hero. Kent is very happy and he invites Samantha for the party as well. She had rejected the invitation of the party before, but this time she accepted it and told him that she will definitely come to the party. She afterwards sits with her three friends at the cafeteria and when once again Juliet passes by. Her friends start to tease her, but Samantha stops them and tells them not to do it as she tells them that it doesn't look cool. She spends some of the time with her family and goes straight to the party where she meets Kent and drags him to his room. She tells him that he is a very good kisser, but he doesn't understand a thing because he kissed her in the third grade last time. Both of them kiss each other once again. She says I love you to Kent and leaves the room coming downstairs, she stops Juliet at the gate before she can even enter the party. She wants to apologize to her once again and Juliet doesn't listen to her. She is about to leave when Samantha tells her that she has to come with her, but Juliet doesn't listen to her and runs away. She tries to tell her that she shouldn't think of committing a suicide. Juliet is completely broken at the moment and she is not understanding, no matter how much Samantha tries to convince her. She just wants to die as she thinks that her life cannot be fixed. She sees a truck and runs towards it, but when she's about to give her life up, Samantha pushes her, giving her own life up. She kills herself in order to save Juliet's life and to get herself out of the loop. She remembers her cherished moments from her childhood when she is about to die. Subscribe to watch more videos like this and don't forget to turn on your notification to help the channel out.